Welcome to Lead Squared's analytics section. In this quick overview, we'll walk you through how to navigate the analytics section. To get started from the main menu, select analytics to open the advanced reporting suite. Inside analytics, you'll find two key sections, reports and dashboards. Reports let you dig into your CRM data and build insights, while dashboards give you a visual, real-time overview of performance metrics. In the reports section, you land on the pinned reports view by default, showing the reports you've pinned for quick access. You can switch to all reports to see every report or explore the tags section for reports grouped by categories. As an admin, you can tailor what reports and dashboards are available for different users using report profiles. It's a powerful way to control report visibility by role, team, or individual user. Let's take a quick look at how to create a report. Click Create Report, choose your data source, for example, leads, and you'll land in the Report Builder. Here you can choose between a summary report for aggregated insights or a list report for detailed records without groupings or values. We'll continue with a summary report. Next, add fields to your rows or columns. Then include either a predefined or custom value. Apply filters, for example, filter by date range, and choose how you'd like to visualize the data, whether as a table or chart. You can always click preview to preview a limited data set. You can even enable drill down so users can click into the data for deeper insights. Finally, name the report, add a description and hit save. You can assign tags to the report and map it to different profiles You'll also get the option to pin it so it's always visible. Your report is ready and you can edit or duplicate it anytime. To schedule the report, click the three dot menu and select schedule report. Configure the settings and click schedule. All your scheduled reports will be available in the scheduled reports section. Next, let's dig into dashboards. Dashboards and analytics are built using one or more reports. Each dashboard can have multiple widgets, tables, charts, KPIs, all filtered independently or at the global level. You can drill down into individual widgets to explore deeper data or redirect to full report. Dashboards can be shared with users or teams through profiles. They can be set as your default home and lead squared dashboard and even export it on a schedule. Now let's see how to create a dashboard. Start by clicking Create Dashboard. Next, add your first widget. You can either create one from an existing report or add an external element. Arrange your widgets as tables, charts, or KPIs. Each widget can have its own filters, or you can apply a global filter to the entire dashboard. Select the type of global filter and give it a name. Next, select the filter you want to link the widget to and click Add Filter. Now apply the filter to your widgets. You can then resize and move widgets around to design the layout you want. Finally, name the report, add a description, and hit save. You can assign tags to the dashboard and map it to different profiles. While assigning to a profile, you'll also get the option to set it as the default home dashboard or pin it so it's always visible. And that's it, your dashboard is ready. That's Lead Squared Analytics in a nutshell. For more, visit our help center or contact your account manager.